Every year, astronomers discover thousands of new stars and exoplanets, distant galaxies, and rare cosmic phenomena. And NASA recently announced yet another bizarre new discovery that no one can explain. Radio telescopes detected mysterious, circular phenomena larger than galaxies, and these objects astonish the scientific community. This fantastic new discovery is just one of many new wonders of space. We now present five of the strangest, biggest, or most dangerous new discoveries in the universe. Who would have thought that a few radio signals could carry such an explosive message? In September 2019, radio astronomer Anna Kapinska came across this strange phenomenon while working on the global EMU project. What the researcher saw through the revolutionary new ASCAP telescope resembled a ghostly circle of radio emissions floating freely in space. You can imagine the phenomenon as similar to a cosmic smoke ring. What was it? Never before have radio astronomers discovered anything like it. And imagine that these objects are basically just radiation. Fascinated, the astronomers continued their research, and shortly afterwards another member of the EMU team, Emil Lenk, discovered a second, even more sinister ring. The new phenomenon was given the name Odd Radio Circles, which can be translated as Mysterious or Unusual Radio Circle. International astronomers generally use the abbreviation ORCS for this phenomena. ORCS are, of course, not really new in space. We can only now see or better hear them. Radio astronomy does not detect the visible traces of light in the cosmos, but uses huge dishes to collect every conceivable signal from the universe. Radio telescopes are located all over the world, consisting of either one large dish or many smaller ones, which are located close together in extensive facilities. The discovery of orcs marked one of the most exciting moments in recent radio astronomy and astonished scientists worldwide. Orcs are no ordinary space objects. Their precise circular symmetry and uniform diameter of about one minute of arc represent an absolute rarity in the field of radio astronomy. Circular features are unusual and often indicative of spherical objects such as supernova remnants or planetary nebulae. But the orcs do not fit into any of these categories. They are also not related to other known phenomena, such as the gravitational lensing that produces the so-called Einstein rings. Nor do orcs have anything to do with double-lobe radio galaxies, as was initially thought. An exciting fact is that some of these orcs appear to have central galaxies in their radio spectrum. You can imagine how large these objects are if they can accommodate entire galaxies. But not all orcs have a galaxy at their center which is why astronomers have not yet assumed that the rings are formed by the galaxies. Some orcs are like hollow rings on the inside, others appear partially or completely filled. These differences in appearance only add more layers to the puzzle. Moreover, these objects are so close together spatially that it's suspected they may have a common cause. The scientific community has considered and rejected many hypotheses since the strange radio circles were first discovered. Supernova remnants? The probability of this is vanishingly small. Planetary nebulae? The spectral indices don't really fit here either. The idea that it could be part of a star-forming galaxy or a ring galaxy was also ruled out due to the lack of optical emission. Even the possibility that orcs are associated with gravitational lensing was soon dismissed because the symmetry and alignment did not fit. The investigations have so far raised almost more questions than answers. Orcs could represent a completely new type of astronomical object and show us that we may still only be scratching the surface of understanding our universe. Space Seen from a New Angle – Global EMU Over 300 scientists from 21 different countries have joined forces in a gigantic project to map the entire southern sky. The Global EMU Project stands for Evolutionary Map of the Universe. What is observed here is not light, but radiation of all kinds, radio signals, ultraviolet rays, X-rays, and the general cosmic noise. The world's most advanced radio telescopes work together to decode every little beep and noise in the universe. Just like light, waves and radiation can travel incredibly long distances and, like light, they are exact imprints of certain events and dynamics in the universe. 
At the heart of the global EMU project is the Australian Square Kilometre Array Pathfinder, or ASCAP for short. In fact, this facility in a remote desert of Western Australia is one of the most modern radio telescopes on Earth. The ASCAP consists of 36 antennas, each measuring 12 meters in diameter and together covering an enormous field of view. This unique arrangement allows researchers to quickly scan extremely large areas of the sky and discover all kinds of new objects and events. The orcs are just one highlight of this project. One of the main goals of the global EMU project is to create a detailed radio sky map and EMU researchers have already discovered dozens of new phenomena. Among the most exciting new discoveries are previously unknown types of galaxies and exotic cosmic events that emit no light and whose emitted wavelengths are so difficult to perceive that they should actually be described as invisible. We could never see such objects and events even with the best optical telescopes. It's the huge radio telescopes and astronomers listening into space that cannot miss even these phenomena. Among other things, the radio universe has provided completely new facts about the development of galaxies over billions of years, and we now know far more about what exactly led to the development of galaxies simply from radiation waves that have traveled infinitely far through space and time. Among the most exciting discoveries of the EMU project are the fast radio bursts, or FRBs for short, which are mysterious, short-lived radio bursts that bear witness to extremely distant events. A galaxy so tiny that it was simply overlooked. Who would have thought that even with billions of known and explored galaxies, we would keep coming across fascinating news? Bedin 1 is a dwarf galaxy that was discovered in 2018. This discovery was made by chance while astronomers were using the Hubble Space Telescope to actually study the spherical star cluster NGC 6752. This star cluster is part of our Milky Way and is located in the halo region in the outer layers of the galaxy. Bedin 1 was hidden in the background of these observations and only became visible when Hubble took a very close look. This galaxy is around 30 million light years away from Earth. This makes it one of our direct intergalactic neighbors on a cosmic scale. Despite this relative proximity, Bedin 1 is exceptionally isolated, about 2 million light years away from the nearest larger galaxy. Due to this isolation, it has probably hardly interacted with other galaxies for billions of years and has therefore remained unaltered and pure in a special way. With a diameter of only around 3,000 light years, this galaxy is extremely small. Our Milky Way has a diameter of around 100,000 light years, and one of our other closest galactic neighbors, the Andromeda Galaxy, is twice as big as the Milky Way. Bedin 1 is therefore really tiny and has probably remained so small because it has had no contact with other galaxies. It has not changed through collisions with other galaxies, and it has not grown through mergers. Another special feature is that this galaxy appears to be a very old galaxy. The stars that populate it are predominantly very old, which indicates that the galaxy has not changed significantly for a long time. With an estimated age of around 13 billion years, it is only slightly younger than the universe itself, making Bedin 1 a living fossil from the early days of the cosmos. Astronomers use its composition and structure to read the conditions of the early universe and investigate how other galaxies have evolved over enormous astronomical timescales, while others have remained unaltered. It's raining iron and diamonds here. It sounds strange. We now know of 5,000 exoplanets and not a single one of the planets discovered so far resembles our Earth, nor have we found any traces of life or other civilizations. Instead, we are finding a series of planets that are so strange, so stark, so different, and so hostile to life that it is really scary. WASP-76b and PSR-J1719-1438b are two of these worlds, and they are definitely among the most extreme exoplanets astronomers have discovered so far. WASP-76b is an exoplanet that is about 640 light-years away from Earth and is classified as an ultra-hot Jupiter. The special feature of this exoplanet is that it is so close to its star that it completes an orbit in only about 1.8 days, constantly turning the same side towards the star. Due to the so-called bound rotation, the daily temperature constantly reaches over 2400 degrees Celsius. 
This is hot enough to vaporize metals such as iron. On the night side of WASP-76b, this world looks very different. It's icy cold and always pitch black. Interestingly, the extreme temperature differences between the night and day sides lead to violent atmospheric winds that transport the iron vapor to the cooler night side, where it condenses again as rain of liquid iron. This bizarre weather phenomenon makes WASP-76b one of the most extreme and unusual exoplanets known. PSR J1719-1438b is another planetary extreme example that shows us in a bizarre way how unusual exoplanets can be. This planet orbits a neutron star, which is also a pulsar and has extremely fast rotations. PSR J1719-1438b was probably not born as a planet, but as a star, most of the star's mass was stripped away over time by the strong gravitational influence of its neutron star partner, leaving the core, which is rich in carbon. Due to the extremely high pressure, this core was so overloaded that it was transformed into a diamond about five times the size of Earth. Forty dancing jumbos in the Orion Nebula? If you think we've already seen the strangest and most curious objects, you'll be amazed by the jumbos. These objects only caused scientists to despair in 2023 because they shouldn't actually exist. Imagine 40 pairs of Jupiter-like planets performing a strange dance in the Orion Nebula, one of the most active known star-forming regions in our galaxy. You heard right, pairs. Jumbos are Jupiter mass binary objects, where two planets of the mass of Jupiter are gravitationally bound to each other, rotating freely through the universe. It's impossible to find out why and how these objects were formed. Forty Jupiter-like planets in one spot are already an astronomical peculiarity. But here we have 40 pairs that are also completely free and not bound to a star as they travel through space. Press subscribe now and never miss a new video.